Amy K. Nelson here in New Orleans at the Final Four, and I'm with Derek Wittenberg. And Derek, why don't you describe yourself for everyone out there? Well, I guess I'm known 29 years ago as the guy with the famous pass of 1983 with Jim V. Valvano in North Carolina State. We made the great run back then, and you know, it was just an amazing run for NC State. We win the national championship, Cinderella story. Nobody thought we could do it. And the famous play at the end of the game, I'm the guy that catches the basketball, and everybody thinks it's a shot, and I pass it up, and Lorenzo Charles dunks it in, and we win the national championship. And 29 years later, everybody's still talking about that famous moment. Now you're, you're a college basketball national champion. Yes. That's never gonna leave you. Never gonna leave me. When you come to a place like this and you talk basketball, what are some of the things that you like to emphasize or highlight about the overall experience of playing in this tournament? Well, it's nothing more special than being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Part of a championship team, a team that makes a run like that, the, the chemistry of the team and all the moments and the ups and downs during the season and all the special things that happen, you, you, you're telling a story and it's part of your legacy, part of your life, and it's something that is gonna stick with me for the rest of my life, and I'm gonna be a part of basketball history. Well, let's talk this weekend and the games going on this weekend. The most talked about game, obviously, is Louisville, Kentucky. My question to you is, what are you more interested in, watching Louisville versus Kentucky or watching Patino? versus Calipari? Well, I have a different ways to look at it. Now I'm an ESPN analyst. So now I'm looking at the strategy of the game. Who's going to make the adjustments? What coach is going to employ different offensive schemes and defensive schemes? Not necessarily individual players, but what coaches? You got the, the veteran Rick Pitino, the mastermind, and you got the Calipari, who's got the great talent, who's gonna make the right moves, the right substitutions. That and you got a tremendous rival in Louisville, Kentucky. The loser of that game may can't go home. So that's the beauty about that particular game. Who's go what coach is gonna inspire his team and get his team over the hump with the right moves. Now, what about the next game? It seems that everyone's sort of forgetting that Ohio State and Kansas are playing. There's another game here this weekend. How do you how do you handicap you that? You got one? Thad Mata, Sullinger, great player, and you and you have Bill Self who's already won a championship with Thomas Robinson, player to you, great player. I think that's gonna be the matchup that's gonna be just like ours in eighty three. Everybody thought of it. Uh, Louisville and Houston, that was the championship game. Everybody thinks that Kentucky and Louisville is the championship game. So I think those two teams, Ohio State and Kansas, have a little edge because whoever wins that game is going to be the underdog. And those are excellent teams. There's a lot of parity in this Final Four. Anybody can win it. Derek, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And for more from New Orleans, make sure you come back to SB Nation. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.